Hey everybody, welcome back. Going to the Look Elite Look at Agatha's now. hair. Well, oh. Wow, her hair is like four times the size of her head. Yeah. You also like get a close-up on her on the on this next screen here. Yeah. Oh, that's weird looking. I mean, she's supposed to look like a skeleton because ghosts. Well, okay, so then why is Lorelai's head like the smallest one? Wait, hold on. I, I want to go back and see her. <laughs> I don't know. She's farther away. Okay, so are either of these two sets of Pokemon one that we want to use for this, uh, for this, uh, Elite Four well, battle? We, we might as well try them. I think I kind of like our new team. Yeah, new team's better. Yeah, yeah, let's let's stick with new team. Our previous team, we got a couple of faints during the the final game, but this one we haven't had a faint yet. Yeah, that's a good point. We haven't had a single Pokemon faint with this whole thing, and we did Giovanni's gym. Obviously, some of that is luck on hitting and missing and what the opponents chose, but uh, it's been paying off so far. Okay, so I really like Jolteon. I don't Jolteon know about you guys. Jolteon and Haunter. Uh, Jolteon Haunter, because sure. he's, he's got Thunderbolt. Um, yeah. I kind of want to say Executor because all the water types, but I'm sure she's loaded with ice moves. Yep. Um, um, Vaporeon can handle all the ice moves. I mean, and, we can um, the, tank the only it. caveat there would be um, you can't do a whole lot of damage back to them, but mm. if Jolteon you're and Haunter all... stick around, then uh, they're going to do a lot you're of You're also damage bringing anyway. two Pokemon with some sort of electric moves, so. I... Mm. This is also the first battle, so there's no consequences. Yeah, I mean, you can also no, bring Jinx. That's, yeah, let's just Jinx, sure, heavy hitter, because it's the first round anyway. There's no consequences to this fight. It's the first round. Look at this arena. It's, uh... It's hell. You are in the middle of a pool of lava. It looks like the halfway between Lethal Lava Land and, like, an Ocarina of Time Temple. The fire temple in Ocarina of Time. Obagia comes shooting out of the lava from behind you. <laughs> kind of. It's it's the flames in the background and like the structures look a little bit Zelda to me, but the environment of the lava and the open sky being red reminds me of Lethal Lava Land from Super Mario 64. Okay, okay uh Thunder? Thunder. Why it's not? not super effective and we both have high special, but we'll see how this goes. Wouldn't I don't know if I feel more. No, double kick is physical. Jolteon doesn't have good physical attack. And Jinx would resist it. Nice. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. oh, reflect. Yeah, it's a shame because Jinx only has like 60 defense or something very, very low. But I think someone just... in the comments was uh, belittling me for saying switch into Jinx to take a hit by s citing that it has like 35 base defense. Yeah, I, I, I think it was just a joke more than anything because a minute later you explained your rationale on it and it actually made a lot of sense where you specified the jinx wasn't supposed to live on the switch you know it was just mm -hmm. to give us a free switch because the situation was dire which i think is a fair strategy oh cool all right I'm literally with that Wh yeah whoa <laughs> is he faster no okay. no jolteon's one of the fastest pokemon in the game yeah yeah i know that much but it's tied with Doug Trio and is outsped by Electrode. Who's generally agreed to be the the worst of the legendary birds? Is it Moltres? Moltres. It, it, yeah, think. Moltres, in, in, at least from what I've seen, is the shittiest of them. Yeah. Absolutely garbage. <laughs> Articuno learns a lot of stupid moves in Gen 1, but uh, yeah, it but, also gets some good ones. Yeah, but like... Mol... I'm pretty sure I looked it up before. Also, how legendary are these birds if some no-name trainers in previous gyms have used these birds as well? Yeah, I know, right? You tell me how good you think this Pokemon is, okay? The, yeah. It learns a few moves, and I'm going to read all of them to you. It learns Fire Spin, Heck, uh. Leer, Agility, and Sky Attack. Oh my god, I thought it at least got Fire Blast. I mean, you could teach a Fire Blast by TM, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. Moltres Gen One. Jesus, the, it's best. Yeah, move Fire Pokemon did Fire not Blast. have a whole lot of love going into Gen One. Its best move is probably Agility because Agility would activate the the badge boost glitch and raise all your stats. That's the one. The only redeeming factor it has is a glitch in the game plays in its favor with one of its moves. Uh, I think. 
Zapdos, maybe the what best that? one in first gen. I'm just playing Rochambeau and That's... hoping I win here because I don't have a better choice. That sounds right, but level up moves I think might be a bit different. I don't remember if it learned Drill Peck originally. It did. Yeah, it first, did? Level, first level Drill Peck, then Thunder What is shock, going on? I had such thunder, a good opener. Agility and light screen. I had such a good opener. Now I've missed two Thunders and I've been paralyzed and missed turns due to that. Is this going to make you faint? Almost. No. It's Articuno. Wow, he successfully stalled me out and beat Jolteon from full health to nothing off one paralysis. I didn't land a single hit on him. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Moltres is the worst because both of the other birds learn their, like, major moves, so, like, Thunder and Blizzard, whereas Moltres doesn't learn that. The best fire move it knows is, is Fire Spin, which arguably yeah. could be better. Uh, Haunter. Haunter. Yeah, but, yeah, Thunder. But instead of learning a move like Blizzard or or Thunder, it learns Sky Attack. So I just have to hope he doesn't take me out with uh, with Psychic. If he crits, it might. I don't know. He might try paralyzing you. I might crit him. Yeah. Oh. Ah, damn. Okay. If not, if if that didn't happen, I could have been in trouble. Um, Good thing this got... is before he became Poison Psychic. I, what? It, Galarian Slowbro is Poison Psychic. Oh, I didn't even know there's a Galarian Slowbro. There is yeah. now. Uh, Isle of Armor it, just came out the other day. Huh. Instead, of it, instead of it biting onto its tail, the thing, it bites onto its arm. And it's, oh. it has a new ability, too, that makes it effectively a quick claw. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. It also has a new uh, signature move. That's a poison-type move that will do more damage, or... It'll do either physical or special damage depending on which stat of the users or of the targets is lower. Uh, Haunter, Jinx. No, bring Vaporeon. Yeah. Uh, Haunter, Jinx, oh. Vaporeon. Like no, that? no, no. Start with Vaporeon. Really? I thought we'd start yeah. with Ghost. Yeah, he'll Vaporeon, probably bring Onyx. Haunter, Jinx. He'll probably bring Onyx and use Rap. Okay, we'll see where this goes. The next He's rugged. He's one rugged opponent. <laughs> so what he's a, a man! Here. That's my uh, other yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is he going to try and drop kick a ghost? No, he's going to try to karate chop you. I can't wait for later. The day that we're recording this is when the Machop challenge is going to go and premiere. I can't wait because... Um, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> yeah! There's... Uh, all right, Brandon, so I don't know if you know about this. I found this out, and uh, when I went to the Machop thing, I thought I was going to have to use Bide to fight ghosts in Pokemon uh -huh. Tower. Turns out Seismic Toss worse on ghosts. So I did this big rant about how I can't Karate Chop a ghost. I can't Low Kick a ghost. I can't Body Slam a ghost, but I can throw a ghost with Seismic Toss. Well, yeah. You th just throw it into other ghosts. Yeah. Clearly... You can throw a ghost. Wow, I Machamp is comedically small compared to us. No, Haunter's just comedically large. Yeah, I in fairness, Haunter is way bigger than most Pokemon in Gen 1. And like it's not actually that big. On its listing for how big it is, it's not that much bigger than a Tauros. How big is it on its listing? I think it's like 1.6 meters. Okay. No need to switch here. You can just do a couple yeah. of psychics to take if it If you out. want to see the comedic difference, look at the size difference between a fucking Onyx <laughs> and Haunter. Okay, Onyx is 28 feet long, if I remember right. I feel like he should be a little bit bigger in comparison, you know? Haunter should be huge in comparison. Okay, well, he's still got the... He still has a base attack of 35, so I'm not really that worried. Really? Haunter has a pretty low physical defense stat, so I guess that's why it took you out. Wow, that surprised me. Okay, Vaporeon. Oh well, you're still you're still good. Oh. Yeah, Vaporeon. Oh no, what will we do? <laughs> There's an Onyx out on the field. Look, you don't know for sure that his last Pokemon isn't Mewtwo. We haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. You make a good point. Mhm, mm it's a solid point. Can't this argue when, with that. This is when they knock the egg out of the path into the lava, and Moltres comes out of the field. <laughs> <laughs> I was just busy trying to get great pictures of all those Charmanders. 
By the way, new Pokemon Snap coming out, if anyone missed I, it. I did see that, yeah. Very excited for that. I'm sure people were constantly telling you, hey, there's a new Pokemon Snap announced. Non-stop, everybody tween at me. Everybody knows I've been excited for that for a while. Because I've, yeah. I've been asking for new... So everyone's been asking for a new Snap for ages. How has a new Pokemon Snap not come out on the Wii U? Why you know, did the Wii U you, never get it, one? It would have been good for it. It would have made use of that forced gimmick. Yeah. You know what? I think that when they release the new Pokemon Snap, they should release an N64 remake like they did the GameCube controller. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst star uppercut I've ever seen. Yeah, well, Hitmonchan's is just not very good, okay? It got better over time, but... Yeah, yeah. but... Uh, it's just kind of sad in this game that it just can't really punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it has Mega Punch, I guess, but... It's got Dizzy oh. Punch, I think. It's got Comet Punch, which... <laughs> no. Does it have Dizzy Punch? I thought that was only Kangaskhan. It probably is only Kangaskhan. It would I make sense really if it could learn Dizzy Punch. How can Hitmonchan not know all the punch moves? I know, right? I think he couldn't learn Drain Punch up until Gen 8. I could be wrong on that. Is it because he's wearing gloves and so he can't drain health because there's no skin-to-skin -skin contact? His gloves Maybe he's not are using his G? I don't know. Wait, are Hitmonchan's hands actually gloves or does he wear gloves? Dear Hitmonchan, how do you type with boxing gloves on? Exactly. How do I, you I got your reference, by the way. Punch moves. Good, I'm glad you do. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea why he can't learn some of the punch moves. Either than Drain I, Punch and the glove thing. Maybe that works. Let's see. I'm going to go on to sarahb.net to check out Hitmonchan's learn set in Gen 8. Oh, in Gen so, 8. I'm it's liking eight, Jinx and Haunter because we have Psychic with them, and every opponent is Poison type. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, there's beyond... that Venusaur. Yeah. Beyond that, Beyond that, Graveler for Earthquake? Uh, well, mm hmm. I, hmm. Yeah, it's still good against five things. That being <laughs> Golbat for the other one. Who but, do you um, open with Jinx? Jinx, because it's fast, but yeah. I, I don't know how. Well, no, yeah, that, that will work because. Oh, uh, same speed, actually, Jinx and Haunter. The go. No. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I was looking at special. Um, but if you if you lead with Jinx, then Gengar and Haunter don't have anything good against you, probably. Good point. Arbok or Muck probably has Fire Blast, <clears throat> but even then, it's not going to do a whole lot. And we have Ice for Golbat and Venusaur. Jinx is good against everyone here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Jinx, Haunter, Graveler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That should be fine. Let's hope. Alright, so, uh, turns out, whenever Hitmonchan evolves from Tyrogue in Gen 8, it learns Drain Punch. It couldn't oh. before, I don't think. Huh. Uh, Gen I think 7. I'm gonna use Thrash. In Gen 7, once it evolves from Tyrogue, it learned Comet Punch. So, yeah. Vastly greater upgrade. Oh. Well, it's well, dead. Well, I crit. That's and, a good start. Uh, Oh, it could learn dra uh, Drain Punch via Move Tutor. Okay. We might be huh. in for a one-sided affair. <laughs> one affair. Oh, it's <sighs> there are some Pokemon I just feel bad for, like Arbok being one of them, you know? Arbok's cool, but it's just not that good. At least not in yeah. this game. It got a little better oh, once it was able to... Once it is able to learn the move Coil, which increases attack, defense, and accuracy. Well, we got another one-shot crit. Yeah. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Thank you, announcer. Oh, it's Golbat. It I... is? It's Golbat. <laughs> oh, it's Crobat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's not a one-shot, though. Ah. Okay. Come I mean, on, 55 might... accuracy. Yeah. We win. How? I almost hit. I almost hit Lovely Kiss by accident. Good thing you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Huh. Agatha is always the least scary to me. She didn't bring a ghost. She's like the break before you go into Lance. The real fight? Yeah. Okay, so we're at the end of Gym Leader Tower then, going up against Lance. Yeah, at the end. <laughs> is is there a battle after Lance? Yes. Yeah, there is. Oh, I didn't remember. Wait, wait, wait. But Lance is the last one of this round, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank God. I don't want to have another fight after that I don't get to, like, save. He doesn't have a Dragonite? Dragonite. That's weird. But Jolteon's good against uh, four of these things, by the no. way. No, why would you bring a Dragonite when you can bring Kangaskhan? Hmm. <laughs> a good so, point. I like Jolteon first. I like Jinx second. Mm-hmm. Grav? No. Uh, no, Gravler maybe, would still maybe. work against uh, <clears throat> Kangaskhan, Aerodactyl, and Charizard. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe Kangaskhan. Uh, you could also bring Vaporeon for the resistance, and then also the water moves, and then the ice moves. You know what? There's literally no bad choice for, <laughs> for the last Pokemon, is there? Except for Executor. That would be pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't really be great against anything because Gyarados is also part flying. Okay. Yeah. Um, How about Vaporeon? Vaporeon yeah. has, like, no weakness on the field. It's another guy with more ice moves, and they got a lot of guys weak against ice, and it's got water yeah. for Charizard as well. The, the yeah, hardest, I like Vaporeon. The hardest thing for you to fight would probably be Dragonair, but you could just kill it with Aurora Beam, so. I guess the real question is Jinx first or Jolteon first? The Jolteon. Okay, I don't remember what I picked first, so I'm just gonna reselect just for safety. I don't want to mess this up, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's jump right back in. Okay. Okay, come on, give me a win. Give me a win. Oh, well, there it is. The one they Pokemon can... that would have resisted. Uh, Fire Blast, Hyper yeah. Beam, Thunder Shock, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Oh no, it'll have thunder, thunder wave, not thunder shock. Yeah, oh, okay. it usually ha it usually has thunder wave. The uh... in that case, why don't we switch to um to Vaporeon? It's gonna be slower than most things anyway. Do you think he's got thunderbolt though? He might, but he might only have he might only have thunder wave though. He's probably going for that right now anyway. He's probably going for hyper beam, but Vaporeon would still be able to take that. Yeah. Do we all do we all feel Vaporeon then? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because then you could just finish it with a uh, an Aurora Beam. You don't have anything good with Jolteon anyway. That's true. And if I it had, doesn't go... I, I, I had to switch. It's just we didn't have anything super clean to switch into, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess if we brought Graveler, we would have been able to handle the Thunder Wave. I eh. guess, yeah. Okay, Aurora Beam. I see no reason to do anything else. Hey, yeah, you get Acid Armor. Okay, oh, you... this might I... be a long uh... fight, but oh, no. uh... okay, if he's got Dragonair and and Charizard, this is going to be a very long fight. Okay, um, we get a free switch during a wrap if we want to, but I don't know uh, if we want to. If you, you do could... to go to Jinx, then you can probably you be faster than it. But then Jinx will get paralyzed. No, he can't paral. Uh. No, he can. He can paralyze too. Yeah. yeah. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Bearing each other down. Can he paralyze too? No, it was frozen and asleep. You can't do two of. Okay. Um. I was just trying to remember the rules. Yeah, I was just thinking that if you switched to Jinx, he would waste the turn trying to wrap. Then you could ice punch. Um, yeah, Jinx is probably faster, so it would still do a lot of damage to Dragonair. I wouldn't one-shot yeah. it, though. I would just end up with two guys paralyzed. I'm really worried about that. You may crit, you may freeze. Who knows? That's true. Do you think it's... And even when Jinx gets paralyzed, it's not... There's nothing on Lance's team that Jinx could take out that Jolteon could not. But he's we doing, just... like, nothing to me with rap. I could just That's keep trying true. for Aurora Beam. You could, and just hope that he misses his wrap. But if you switch out now, then you have a free turn. That's true. There's a potential he may not ever miss wrap. There, yes, and that is true. I think we lose Vaporeon, too. 
an and hour we all, of and then and everybody involved loses an hour of their life. Yeah. Like or it's we could lose an hour of our life to debating. How about we switch for Jinx then? Let's okay. do it. Okay, we'll take our free Switch. A free Nintendo Switch? That's $300. <gasps> well, it depends. Are we in quarantine or not? Because if in quarantine, it's more than $300. Yeah. Or if you're just in Canada. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What? He, wait, wait, wait. He was switching during a rap? Is, is he yeah. not allowed to do that? I don't no, think I don't you remember. Have... I think, you, no, yeah, you can. Because uh, when you go to fight, then it does the move again. But if you choose not to fight, then you just switch. In so Gen I guess we have one? to switch again? I think so, yeah. Do we... Do we... Switch to Jolteon? But are we just going to get hyper beamed? It's if you switch to Vaporeon, time. then you can at least take the hyper beam. But I don't know. But then what, what do we do from there? But it's four times effective, you know? I just... <laughs> I feel bad not switching to Jolteon. But if he hyper beams, then he's dead. What do you mean? This this is a think so. yes. This is a nasty situation we found ourselves in. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh. So, the, so the error we made was switching to Jinx and not for some we're, reason. We're Jolteon? fast. Look, okay, I'm we're, sorry. We're faster. I'm doing lovely kiss. Uh, nah. Okay, hold on. Accuracy on lovely kiss is the same as rap, right? Would the odds be in your favor? I'm taking the reins. I'm doing it. It's my fault Fuck if it. this misses. Roll those dice. 75? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Don't it wakes do up. Okay. 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 Thank God. okay. okay. Jolteon. Jolteon. <laughs> then it wakes up. Then we kill it. Then we miss, and then it hyper beams anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I wouldn't put a best. Now, if Thunder hits, we win. It would be kind of worth it. You know? Oh, thank God. Thank okay, God. We okay, we got another turn. So we have at least two chances at this. Come on, just. Just, just hit. Okay, he should be done. That's Thunder. He's double weak. Okay. Okay. Now, what are we dealing with? This is, this is a harrowing fight. And then. And then fucking. Dragonair comes back out. Kangaskhan, weird. Mm. He brought Kangaskhan when I fought him too, but yes, we. Oh god, just, uh, if you thunder, thunder, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, and we don't need Jolteon for anyone else, so we may as well stay in and do what we can. I don't like Kangaskhan in this game. It's a little creepy, right? I don't like it's the very tongue. fluid. The tongue thing, I do Yeah. Ooh. That mm. might be nasty. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. We lived. Okay, so. I don't know I don't, if double kick will take it out. I don't think it if will. I'm thinking thunder again. Look, worst case scenario, Jinx comes out, outspeeds it, one shots it. Yep. You could yeah. alternatively also uh, bring. Uh, Vaporeon for quick attack, but I don't know. Yeah. We, regard regardless, we have two more Pokemon with ice moves, and it's only Dragonair after this, so we're yeah, fine. Yeah, I think we've got this. Nice. Good okay. crit. Um, so we hit Thunder on Dragonair when he comes out, or Toxic, whatever we feel like, I guess. And then we go down to whatever's follow up. It's probably like Dragon Rage, because it would be a guaranteed kill on us. And then we switch to Jinx, Ice Punch, and that might be it. Why don't we Toxic? We could Toxic. Yeah, just get yeah, that damage Yeah, I mean, we already in. know... You know what? We already know he's got nothing to deal with Vaporeon. If he's got Toxic, we probably have a guaranteed win. Oh, <laughs> he missed. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Ice Beam. Good to know he's got it. Not what I was expecting, but... Me neither. I, I was thinking Dragon Rage, but I guess they thought, you know, level 50 and up, Dragon Rage doesn't scale well. Uh, Jinx, because it's not paralyzed in Ice Punch. Yeah. I am very fortunate that in Gen 1, all Ice moves are special, because Ice Punch with terrible attack would suck.
Jinx has been yeah. great, and it's only because of that. Okay, crit, oh, it's done. So that's, yeah, that's over. <laughs> wow. Our new team has only ever had one Pokemon faint from one fight. This new it team didn't is fight great. Any, any of the three fights up to this one? I don't... I don't remember. I feel like we I had one. So. Uh, maybe. We've done... But even what that. I will say is I think this new team is a big upgrade because it's mm. performing very well. Because yeah. of Jolteon, primarily, it seems. All right, let's... Uh, yeah. You received the key from the Elite Four that opened the gate to the upper floor. Rival! I forgot you actually have to fight him. You know what? Yeah. You know what? We have time. Let's do it. Yay, Rival. We'll, we'll go a little bit over time, but again, it, the apology for the one episode that had very little fighting in it, and I didn't know you got you guys all wanted more battles in it, so for the last episode in this episode, we'll go a little bit over time for you guys to make up for it. Um, okay. So, Brawler's good against three things, but I wouldn't advise starting with him. Yeah. I agree. Um, Jinx is good against Executor. Now this this is a little bit low stakes. It's it's his own individual battle. We can try this as many times as we want yeah. back to back. So so it's not a big deal if we blow it on this one. All right. of our Pokémon have strengths and weaknesses in this battle. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, he's actually got a balanced team. And it's funny cuz it's not the best Pokémon in the world, but it's balanced, you know? Mm. Okay. If you bring um... Jolteon, you can scout out what's going to what's going to hit you. Like, Vaporeon's also good here, but that's only because it has water and ice moves. Mm -hmm. It'll be good against Ninetales, at least. Yeah, and it'll do decent damage against the, like, uh, Executor with Aurora Beam. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, he's got such an even spread that I feel like this is a bit of a guessing game. Well, we gotta hope that his the Pokemon he brings are the ones we're prepared for. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna bring Graveler, I feel, because at least that way uh, he's good against three things. That's yeah. half of his team. That's just always a safe pick. Yeah, yeah. Graveler needs to be in there, just not the opener. Should we maybe, maybe be Jolteon? Just... I'd say start with Jolteon. Bring Graveler as a backup. Start with Jolteon because if it's Slowbro or Executor, you could Toxic Executor or hit Thunder on Slowbro. And Clefable doesn't really have a whole lot of strong moves it can hit Jolteon with. And Regardless... then if it's anything else, you could switch into Graveler. Regardless, you're winning a speed battle with Jolteon anyway. Yep. For our last Pokemon, I was thinking either Jinx or Vaporeon. Vaporeon would be a good backup. It's got really I... good defense, so... You know what? For the sake of scouting this out, why don't we go Jolteon, Graveler, Vaporeon, and we just see how it goes? Yeah, sure. Okay. I kind of like these lower stakes, I guess, in terms of we can retry over and over, because then we can really start to form a strategy. Now, the luck could fall completely in our favor here, and we could just completely dominate. Switch to Graveler. Yeah, yep, no reason to uh, stay. He's just going to paralyze me, so I may as well switch. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that little... What do you call that? There, there was like a xylophone kind of thing going there. It was good. Okay, I called it. Not that it was that hard to call, I want to point out. It's, yeah. it's a pretty obvious opening move. He's got two moves that are anywhere near okay to use, so... Yeah, bye-bye. Okay. He doesn't have any flying types, right? No. Correct. Okay. So I you're still going to do a lot of damage. It's going to resist. Less than we want you to do, but you're still going to do good damage. Did he call him Executor? Probably. Okay, what is... A lot wow. of people tell me... I No matter how I say Executor, people get mad at me. Say it however you want. It, I say Executor. All right. Uh, Jolteon. Vaporeon, I guess. No, no Jolteon. You're Jolteon. gonna take a, a grass move here, so Jolteon right, would be a better right. boot. And and pin missile is double super effective against Executor, although it True, is still pin missile. First. Hit toxic first. You know what? Yeah. The slow death. Oh, it's charging Solar Beam. Oh. Not what I thought was going to happen. Uh, does that change our strategy at all? No. Uh, toxic at first. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. I, I, I don't think that changes anything. Oh, 
That if animation we had... is weirdly long. I know, right? And quiet. Um, if I had my own executor, I'd consider switching into him, but... Uh, and, like, spam Egg Bomb, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I... Do you think he's just gonna charge Sunlight again? Maybe? What do we even do here? Hmm. This is a weird can, situation we're in. Can whistle for damage and then hope that Toxic kills him. You don't have any right. good counters against Solar Beam, so if you switch now to take a different type of hit, uh, then no matter, and he goes for Solar Beam again, then no matter what you do, you're gonna like lose a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, if I switched to like Vaporeon, I could hit an Aurora Beam. It would do okay damage, but we'd still lose the exchange by far. Yeah. yeah. So um, and Graveler would get annihilated. Bomb, <laughs> if if he hits Egg Bomb, then I think that's it. But um, we do know that he has Electabuzz still in the back, so Graveler could definitely handle that. Yeah. Um, if you Why use Pen Missile here, you can do some damage. You'll yeah. get poison probably. Uh, to hit him. And if he's charging Solar Beam again, you could just go for another Pin Missile and probably put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's our best chance, is to go for Pin Missile and hope he's going for Solar Beam. If he has Egg Bomb and hits it, then that's probably going to take you out. What? That's Come good. on! What the f Oh! He's got high good. attack, but that no, might finish well, he's us. He's got good enough. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, man! Okay, we can try and Pin Missile again, because we got no better move. When he, he took a, like a ton of like you know he, what? He if he's going for double edge again, no, no. If he's going for double edge again, just to put, just to finish you off again, switch into something like uh, Vaporeon. Yeah. That way, he'll still take damage from double edge, and Vaporeon he'll take poison will... damage, and then you'll use Aurora Beam. Yeah, Vaporeon will tank it easy. Vaporeon's physically really tanky. Executor is not that physically strong. The poison's gonna mess him up. We'll be faster. Aurora Beam. I like this. Don't crit me, though, because that could still be nasty. Okay. Okay, how hurt is he going to be after this? He should be pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. Aurora Beam will probably take it nice. out. Nice! Yeah, I think we can... I He is. He does have a lot of special, and Aurora Beam's not the strongest in the world, but I could see this definitely beating him. But you have high special, so... And we're not Ice-type, so we don't have Stab. Oh, he gets, you, you he's going to get a but hit, hey, if he's, but... Oh, uh, okay. It's not what I was expecting. It's, was not, toxic right there, it's but. not the end of the world, but I'm not happy about it. But we don't mm -hmm. take damage here, because yeah. he dies. <laughs> so if he switches back to Electabuzz, he can just switch back into Graveler. Yeah. What's he got? It's probably Electabuzz. Yeah. Okay, back out to Graveler. Yeah. And then I can safely Earthquake because they, he doesn't have anything that's immune at I don't think anything around. else except for Pinsir will resist it. Yeah. And even if it is Pinsir, you can just use Rock Slide. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I don't know. He might still try to switch because Electabuzz doesn't usually have anything good against uh, Rock types. For all we know, he doesn't have an attacking move that can hurt us. Oh, he has Seismic Toss. And he's faster, so we have one more chance got... to beat him after this. Yeah. All right, what are we going to do? Can we crit? Okay, next one will beat it. Okay, that's all he's got. Good. And then even after that, he's got one more Pokemon, and we have three that are injured, but I have a feeling we're still way we're still in a decent spot for it. Yeah. Graveler probably faints, but we get our free switch to whoever is best. Maybe. So if it's Ninetales, then Vaporeon would be good. Yeah. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. That line. <laughs> Pinsir. Okay. okay. It's I'll got go for submission or if, if it's got seismic toss or submission, then I think you're done. I think blow I am use rock slide done. nonetheless. Wait, hold on. Rock slide or blow up? <laughs> I think we if have you live, to blow well, you're up. anyway, so if you live, blow up does more damage. I'm blowing up. <laughs> okay, no, we're okay. done. Okay, okay. Yep. 
That would have been amazing if we beat our rival with the blow-up. <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of our rival's Pokémon have Seismic Toss, just so that they never are totally useless. Jolteon? To Jolteon? Yeah, he's doomed anyway, so yeah. uh, do a Hail Mary on a Thunder, I guess. Yeah, and just, we might really mess him up. Yeah. This one's ready to drop. This animal's nearly dead, folks. Nice. Ooh, pretty good. He's not dead yet, but we win automatically because Vaporeon's just going to destroy him. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll be faster. We'll use Surf. We win. All yeah. right, first try. Well, you're not going to be faster, I don't think, but he doesn't have anything. Uh-oh. Uh, it just occurred to me. He probably might have guillotine. Oh, no. Uh, surf anyway. Let's hope okay. he doesn't. Okay. I think we're Roll fine. the dice. Okay. Yeah. If he crits. This, this is going to hurt, though. If he crits. Oh, okay. Okay, we win. Oh, man. Don't do that to That me was nerve-wracking. Yeah, I know, right? At least it's not like we're fighting like the end of a gym, you know, where we had to go back through all of it. <sighs> so when it comes to round two, can we use our own team, please? <laughs> I think that the I think that the general consensus of the comment section. I think the general consensus from that was we can use our own Pokemon for round two. But if you want, I could do another poll. It's just going to be, do you want to see us suffer, or do you want to see us win? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So they're going to vote for us to suffer, because they love that. Yeah. They do love that. I, I will point to YouTube. Out, I will point out to everybody watching, we are doing Pokemon Stadium 2. We're, we're doing, like, I want to start doing a lot of the spinoff games, including ones I haven't played before, like Coliseum and stuff like that. So... Don't worry about elongating this series. Like, you pick whatever you would want to watch more. Know that as soon as this series is over, we're just going to start an equivalent series. Like, you're never going to run out of this. You will get bored before you run out. Don't worry. I, I, have, it, I have an incentive. I have an incentive for uh, bringing our own Pokemon. What is uh, it? Dodogama comes back. Dodogama does come back, and I've had a lot of people comment and tweet me saying they really miss it's, Dodogama. It's Bulbasaur. Oh, Jamie, that's, that's a weird that's fish. That's a weird fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, is, my God. So can I nickname it? Can so I random. nickname it? Yeah. <gasps> me too. too. I forgot about this. Sky turns dark. We need Mew to too, fight boom. to Mew. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. Can I rename in here? Oh, right. I don't have a game pack inserted. So I can't redeem my Pokemon. Okay, whatever. I'll get it some other time. Next episode, everybody. The, the ultimate b Pokemon, Mewtwo, lies in wait. Can your Pokemon defeat this fearsome Pokemon? How many Question more times mark? can we say Pokemon in two sentences? <laughs> say it five I'm... more times and you get a free car. Five, do it five more times, you die. <laughs> One person will have gotten that joke. One person will have gotten that joke and they are in hysterics right now. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.